Bonjour people and welcome to the final episode of Transformers Dark of the Moon. Megatron has royally kicked our bucket to Cybertron and now we are trapped with Shockwave who in this they like to call the Decepticon Assassin but we all know him better as the mad scientist, emotionless but cunning and calculating and deadly. And he's not alone because as you can see... He's got a massive driller. Right, so left bump was dash. One and two activated. Tanks three and four online. Pleasant dreams. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Oh no, here we go. Ratchet, are you reading this? Power levels are spiking. Get out of there, Optimus. No, Shockwave must not be freed. Perhaps I can recharge my rockets with that energon. Uh, well, do you want any discussion to it? It's destroying the failsafe backup. Maybe not. It's trying to protect Shockwave. Optimus, jump! Okay, uh, well, uh, somehow I made that. Okay. Oh. Rockets fully charged. Okay. This is going to be a bit Rocket, uh, difficult. It's too late. Shockwave is reactivated. This is going to be rough. You're going to need an edge if he's as tough as you say. I'm open to suggestions. Oh no. Scanning. Okay, well. Okay, there's a power core on his back linked to his primary weapon. Yeah. Target that. He's, He's Astro Mag Cannon. If I can move fast enough, I can flank him. Oh, you say that. This dodge thing doesn't work properly. I know what I've got to do, game. There we go. Ratchet, it's working. His weak spot is on his back. I barely. Oh, fuck you. Ow. Hey, Shocky, do you want to come into the labyrinth with me? Come, come into the eye, Shocky. Come on. That's it. Oh, why do you have to reload at the most inopportune moment, Prime? Okay, patience. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Come on. Have another run at me. Here we go. That's it. Oh, for fuck. Go shotgun. There we go. There's a uh, free call. Oh, hello. This is the sort of thing I was talking about. Because this was in the Megatron fight. It didn't happen for some reason. I've got to hit him now. Shoot when I want you to shoot. Leaving so soon? We're just getting started. Ratchet, we've got a bigger problem. Shockwave has fully activated the Driller Beast. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How am I dodging? Ow. Oh god. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. Am I doing any damn? Oh, what? And they look hungry. 
Come on, Prime. Jump. You won't get me that easily. And again. And again. I can time the jumps decently enough. Jump. You'll have to be faster. Oh, I didn't time that one very well. Oh. Okay. And now. I don't know if I've wasted that or not. Jesus Christ, it's really hard to see what's coming after me. Eat some of this. Not quite. I'm not very concerned about shock race personal attack. This is not doing much damage to me. Timing that well. Ah, go on, Prime, make it back. Oh, Prime, come on. Jump. See, I wasn't even looking at your shocky, and you missed. Easy. Have some of this, come on. Aha. Come on. on Get scrapped. Okay, one down, three to go. Come on, Trillo, what are you doing? Oh. Come on. I know you're wounded, but you're making this a bit too easy on me now. Easy. Not concerned. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, no, 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 no. Oh! 
That was close. I almost messed up dearly there. Get out of my face. Oh, that should be not one down. Now's my chance. Okay, halfway there. Can I now go for the head? Ooh. Let's finish this off. If I go for the head, that might take everything else down. Every shot. Is the head come back to being on Don't know. Come on. Let's move on down. Let's focus on the head. What's the matter? That's it. Like we got his head. That takes him out completely. Yes. Now, stay down. Optimus, reinforcements are approaching your location. Good. Timing. Optimus. Well met, Autobots. Get him in a stasis lock quickly. This whole room is dying. Kim is coming! Autobots, clear the platform. Actually, no, don't clear it. Cause... Back for more. Oh, no oh, Shocky. Don't know if grenades have worked very well, but. Give them everything you've got. Then Would you stop out. reloading at the worst moment? Some more reinforcements. Come on, Shocky. Give it to me. Thank you. More reinforcements. Excellent. Every time you hear that really loud clanking, that's a hit. You're too dangerous to continue functioning in short way. Stay still. Oh no, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah! Scrap! Come on, heal up. Ow! How far out can we move now? Move away. Charge me, big boy. Come on, yes, Cyclops, weirdo. Oh, 
it's hurting now. That's it. Oh, that's a good shot. Come on. Good shot. I'm going to finish your shot, Brave. You'll never make it to Chernobyl. Shot. Oh, stop reloading at the worst moment. Come on. That's it. The battle is won, but Megatron remains at large. We will not rest until he and all Decepticons are found and brought to justice. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Trying to make another jab at Age of Extinction there, but I Welcome, Shockwave. It is good to see you fully reactivated, and your timing is perfect. Travel to this abandoned nuclear facility in Chernobyl and retrieve this item. Optimus may believe he has struck a fatal blow to my plans, but nothing could be further from the truth. Operation Pillar cannot be stopped. Earth and its resources will soon be mine, and Cybertron shall be born anew. That's the only time you ever get to see those four in the same place together in this universe. Well, that was the game. Um... I've not got a lot of experience with High Moons output when it comes to Transformers. They did three, we did War for Cybertron, then we did this, then we did four for Cyber four to Cybertron, sorry. Uh, Rise of the Dark Spark, despite having a lot of the same aesthetics and a lot of similar mechanics to it, was not High Moon. Um, it plays a bit strangely, because I do find a lot of the characters quite cumbersome and difficult to manoeuvre, like especially in that last fight with Shockwave, I wasn't even attempting to roll past him because I knew I just wouldn't be able to make it. Um, but the good thing about their games is the cast. They get all of the, you know, a lot of the high-end names. Peter Collin as Optimus in this, Fred Tattershaw as uh, Megatron. They, they got a lot from the War for Cybertron game to come on board for this and Consequently, for the Cybertron used a lot of the same people. Um, what I will say is that the game is slightly tainted by knowledge of what happens in the film, that it is a prequel to, and I suppose knowledge of the rest of the series, being film series rather. Because, um, like, knowing what happens in Dark of the Moon, there you go, there's your cast. Knowing what happens in Dark of the Moon. 
it's like you look you look at the story in this and you think I know where you're going I know where you're going I know what happens to you I know that doesn't pay off I know that works that way so a little bit of a pleasure of, of the game is tainted because of knowing what happens if you were playing this before you ever saw Dark of the Moon that would be a more interesting experience because it's setting up very clear things and you're like hmm I wonder what that's going to be in the film it generates hype and I think for the thing that it's trying to do the, the whole purpose that it services it does it decently enough where it sets up the moon mystery yeah <laughs> um, but in retrospect again it's 10 years old it's nice to play uh, whether it's superior to War for Cybertron or Fall of Cybertron, it's probably not. But you know, I've never, I've not played them, so I can't really compare it. But uh, yeah, I don't think I can. I won't be able to play the multiplayer, especially not on this um, this profile that I've been playing it on. But uh, that was Dark of the Moon. Not too bad. I. <sighs> I think like the first movie game and the Revenge of the Fallen games are probably better in all honesty. Then you had this, and then you had Rise of the Dark Spark, which is meant to be the Age of Extinction tie-in. Doesn't really tie in very well. And then they gave up for the last night, and rightly so, because that movie's awful. But anyway, that was Dark of the Moon, and that was the playthrough of the prequel to the third film. So thank you everybody so much for stopping by and checking out this game with me. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you have. And share these videos around to help out the channel. And until the next time and until whatever we play next, I will see you all later. <laughs>